Hello and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. It's time for another Take a Step in our podcast rotation. Friend of the show, Aaron Jones, sent in quite a few ideas that would be good to tackle on this series, which we will work through over the next few episodes. We are still looking for requests, though. Send those in to mailcarrier at grapeseed.com. Any unit is fine. Let us know what you would like to hear about. As always, the podcast title gives it away, but today's pick is Unit 11's I Went to See My Brother. If you've taught Unit 11 and beyond, you will know that there is a different I Went to See My song for each unit between 11 and 20. These typically introduce and practice the past tenses of irregular verbs in English. English is a funny language. Unfortunately, we don't just slap an ED on the end of every verb to make it past tense. This results in us having some past tense words like dug, broke, slept, and took. With no clear pattern, these can be tricky for students to understand and use properly, hence dedicated songs like these in Grapeseed. While the audio recordings for these in each unit might change into different musical genres, the general melody and lyrical pattern is the same. Students will need Unit 11's initial song to get used to it, but this consistency in the later units allows them to easily transition into targeting our learning objectives from early exposures. So, while this particular podcast will focus on Unit 11's I Went to See My Brother, the quick checks, learning objectives, and the types of instructions found in the lesson plans will be found in the other versions of the song as well. What are those quick checks? Early Exposures are students beginning to identify irregular verbs? Middle exposures. Can students answer questions in relation to the song? The example given is, I gave you a high five yesterday. What did your mother give you for your birthday? She gave me a doll. End exposures. Can students more fully answer questions about themselves using the language of the song? What did you take home yesterday? I took home my bag. What did your mother feed you for dinner last night? She fed me some spaghetti for dinner. Pretty standard quick checks. The learning objectives are also pretty standard, telling us that the specific language we want students to acquire and use is centered on the past and present tense verbs. One important learning objective to highlight, though, is produce complete sentences. This learning objective starts to pop up commonly here in Unit 11. Ideally, even from Unit 1, You've been modeling full sentence answers for your students and even recasting answers they give you into full sentences if students just gave you a word or phrase. Generally, you want to have built a culture of expecting full sentences from your students where reasonable by this point. If you haven't, this is where you need to step up your game. Whereas before, full sentences from students was a nice-to-have thing. From unit 11 onwards, it is something standard or to be expected. This is echoed in the scope and sequence pages in the teacher manual. For units 9 and 10, under this learning objective, we are at the third stage. Students have had additional exposure to this objective, but still need teacher support. Starting in unit 11, it moves to the fourth stage. Students have an understanding of this objective that is appropriate for their grade level. Teacher support may still be needed. Another thing to mention is the overall focus of unit 11 on the past tense. I went to see my brother is not alone in its objectives of introducing and practicing past tense verbs. While in this particular song, we have the words go went, dig dug, hold held, feed fed, find found, and give gave, other components in Unit 11 focus on other past tense words and concepts like what I saw, what Sally saw, and funny friends. While the specific words are different, There is a big emphasis on this unit on clearly separating the past and present tenses. Each time you teach these other components, it will be assisting you when you later teach our focus component of I went to see my brother and vice versa. Okay, lesson plan time. Exposure 1 comes right in lesson 1. After we sing the song, we ask the class to jump and after they do, we say, you jumped. While a very simple thing conceptually, it highlights an important point when you are trying to demonstrate meaning for the students. The easiest pattern to reinforce and practice these present versus past forms is to give a command to the students and then follow it up with the past tense of what they just did. The key point to keep in mind is that you want to wait for the command to be fully completed before making the past tense comment. This seems obvious, but in the moment it can be overlooked, especially with actions that can take some time to complete. The jump example here in lesson one is easy. You tell them to jump, they jump, then you say, you jumped. 
But if it was something different, like telling a student to go to the door, you'll want to wait until they got to the door and stopped before saying they went to the door. If you say it while the action is still going on, you risk confusing the students. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day, but now I will say goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.